Sleesman Blue Collar Outdoors, and uh, as I get ready to go to the gym, it's arm day today, boys. As always, always using my FNX Fit. I got, I'm actually using the caffeine version pre workout today. This is the new pre workout. This one's good. This one's got some caffeine in it and a lot of natural ingredients. I really like it. But before we get into what we're actually, I wanted to talk about. If any of y'all work out, take supplements, anything like that, drop a comment below, let me know. That's one thing I love doing. I research all this stuff. Hawk and I were reviewing pre-workouts for uh, a while. We actually had a Blue Collar Outdoors Fitness USA, and we stopped doing it, just put everything onto this channel. But we uh, that's one thing that I really love doing, so if I can help you guys in any way in the gym as well. Drop a comment below, let me know, and I'll do it. I mean, I love I love that aspect, and I feel the gym applies to the outdoors more than most people realize. So, without further ado, pre-workout's good. What we want to talk about. We want to talk about this right here. The old shot cam, okay? Unloaded, as always. Whoo, baby, I love this gun. All right, guys, so I'm not going to go into the modes or anything like that. I'm just speaking on easy use, battery life, and first impressions of the app in the field and the quality in the field that this camera can provide. Now, easy use is 5 out of 5. All you do is hit that right there, just that little membrane. See that green? That means she's ready to rock. If I were to fire, she would save it. And then I have it in flying bird mode. So after 30 seconds of inactivity, that will blink green. All I have to do to get it back to ready to film, slap the stock or cause a vibration in my gun, and that'll turn back to a solid green And it, for 30 seconds. So what we were doing is when birds were circling, say so they didn't cup and actually you know, decoy right, they, they just wanted to be tricky and circle one more time. Light slap, light subtle slap of the wrist. And it, it's really nice too because they can't see this light, especially when you, you're sitting there holding still. So it's, it's really nice. That's the one thing I hated about Tacticam was the light was on top of my head. Also, I had to reach up, touch the button, turn it on. And I didn't like the remote idea either because then I just had a green... I look like Iron Man with a green chest. It, it doesn't work with ducks. They pick those things out. As you can see there, she's blinking, right? Now, let me step back so I don't blow out the audio here. See how that's blinking? It has entered sleep mode to save battery. Now, I'll show you what, what you can do to slap it. See how it's solid green now? Just, that's it. Light little slap, solid green. Mallards were pitching in, they'd be on film. So that's how easy it is. The battery life, I haven't charged it. I did get to try it out Saturday, but we didn't really have too much action. Moose did shoot one goose. Uh, I whiffed. I, it showed, showed me just how bad I was shooting. <laughs> then Sunday, we had a... F uh, the geese just were doing it dirty. They were flying beautiful this weekend. It was weird. We were dicking around with a new jerk rig and missed a lot of chances on some widgeon, some some gadwalls and mallards first thing Sunday morning. But we ended up shooting six geese, so it was a good day. And the shot cam, we had the geese were pitching right into the spread, guys. It was beautiful. And I, you know, slapped the stock when they came in. They cupped, they were dirty bird and coming right down in. And I'll drop the footage right here. As you can see in the footage, it slowed down through, and you can see 
that little red dot is exactly, it's sighted into my bead. So where that red dot is in the footage is where I'm putting my point of aim to hit those, hit those geese. So you can learn a lot from watching people film with shot cams. It's, it's more than just a camera. It's a really powerful tool to help you be a better shot with your shotgun, whether you shoot clay pigeons, turkeys, flying birds, etc. It'll help you understand how to lead birds in every situation. And it's a great tool to really pinpoint just where you need to put that bead to have an ethical kill. And that's what we're all about in the outdoors. That's the only thing that should matter. So this tool, easy use, five out of five. Battery life, five out of five. Haven't charged it after two hunts, just morning hunts. And I went out yesterday evening, but I didn't even get to take it out of sleep mode. Ducks were, they were short, short changing me all, all evening. So the app is tremendous. It's easy in the field. It's easy to download the footage right from the shot cam right to your phone. It's just, it's just the shot cam's well made. It's an American made product. And I will be doing an in-depth review on all the features, all the stats, all that stuff. But you guys know how it goes. I don't like to do a review until I can really test a product out and get my personal opinions on it and see what I truly think before I review it. I want to make sure what they claim is what it does. But I have a feeling with a shot cam, it is going to be just that, just from the brief uses of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed that shot cam footage. There's going to be a lot more coming. It's going to be in all our pattern tests. It's going to be in all, all our waterfowl hunts, as well as spring turkey. I'm going to be using that as well. I did get a 410 bracket for it. I am so stoked to watch that. You guys don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm ready. But I got to get to the gym. It's time. I got to kill some arms, get back, and... Uh, edit this video up so I can drop it as a bonus video for this week. The shot cam made its first debut on the pattern test series on Monday's video. If you guys watched that already, you saw Moose shoot the Apex S S3 number four steel out of his kicks high flyer modified at 40 yards and he had the old shot cam on there. So that was our first little introduction in there. So. Hope you enjoyed this footage. I'm going to go kill arms. There's going to be a lot more coming from Shot Cam, but I got to get going. I got a lot to get done tonight. So, if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button. Do it for the Shot Cam's debut. Also, drop a comment below about anything fitness related. If you'd like me to start doing workouts like with the Gorilla Bow again, or, or supplement reviews, pre workouts intro workouts whatever you guys want i love that stuff and uh I'd, i honestly i'd love to do it on the channel but i just don't want to bore y'all so if you guys want to see the supplements workouts etc drop a comment below let me know i'll make it happen if this is your first video with us welcome to blue collar outdoors this is what we do uh it's usually a test etc a lot more action a lot less talking but this video is a little bit different so we upload Monday and Wednesday during season with sprinkled in random videos like this one is right here. And then in the off season, we really grind. We got Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Every week, we pump out videos so you guys are always entertained, whether it be turkey pattern series, waterfowl pattern series, broadhead tests, whatever you guys can think of, fitness if y'all want it. We're here for you. It's just a channel that loves the outdoors, and if you love the outdoors... I really think you'll have a good time with us. So subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on random uploads like this one right here. But I'm going to go kill arms. So as always, ladies and gents, I'll catch you later. we got a lot of good videos coming in the next couple weeks. Hopefully more duck hunts. Take it easy.